we will be learning about pneumonia so it is important for us to under, understand radiologic anatomy this is how lungs look like in a photograph conical pinkish is fungi inflatable organs they are made up of millions of sac like structures known as alveoli these are not human lungs though that is how lungs look like through the eyes of an artist and that is how they look like on a chest x-ray film this is a normal chest x-ray well aerated means lungs are full of air blood vessels are passing through lung parenchyma and branching off so these are the, the blood vessels passing through lung parenchyma and branching off this is probably a branch of uh, pulmonary artery here the trachea the trachea is visible here as a black column it is more prominent on this x-ray and it is branching off into right main bronchus and left main bronchus here carina carina is somewhere here right and left heart borders are clearly visible right and left hemidiaphragms are clearly visible mediastinum is essentially normal in size and shape although lungs are a bit hyper inflated but essentially look normal to me heart size is normal and the rule of thumb is if the maximum transverse diameter of heart is bigger than hemidiaphragm then the heart is considered enlarged which it is not in this case in other words there is no cardiomegaly this is a posterior anterior view or a PA view means x-ray film was on the front side of the patient or anterior side of the patient when the x-ray was taken and x-rays came from the back side or the posterior side traditionally radiologists will not comment on cardiac size on an AP view in a number of x-rays you won't be able to see horizontal fissure but very often you'll see uh, is of an opaque flat horizontal line which is known as horizontal fissure which separates right superior lobe and right middle lobe oblique fissure is only visible on lateral view claustrophenic angles are not visible on this x-ray so it's probably not a not not a good x-ray to comment on pleural effusion so this is another x-ray and you can see right claustrophenic angle and left claustrophenic angle very nice and clearly uh, if there was a small pleural effusion this is the area that will go blunt and you won't be able to see either right or left claustrophenic angle depending upon which lung the pleural effusion is in mediastinum is normal in size and shape cardiac size is normal another x-ray that shows consolidation in right superior lobe you can see air bronchogram which means that uh, the bronchial branches are filled with air and because the background is opaque you can see these branches clearly this is horizontal fissure so the consolidation is limited to one lobe and this is a very good example of uh, lobar pneumonia so the consolidation is in one lobe uh, consolidation means uh, the area is filled with exudates and exudates can be blood can be fibrin can be fluid and uh, can be passed both claustrophenic angles right claustrophenic angle and left claustrophenic angle is again clearly visible cardiac size I would still say it's not bigger than hemidiaphragm so it is normal trachea is not shifted towards right or left side and mediastinum is normal again another uh, chest x-ray that shows consolidation in left lingular region there is an area of left lung which is known as lingula 
and this x-ray shows consolidation in left lingular region notice you cannot see left cardiac border here left heart border here is not visible and the chest x-ray shows massive consolidation in right middle lobe and right inferior lobe also left inferior lobe is consolidated the patient is rotated towards the left hand side and it is probably an AP view so it's not a good idea to comment on cardiac size here this x-ray shows massive pleural effusion so right lung is absolutely normal but the left lung more than half of the left lung is not visible here left heart border is not visible here left uh, hemidiaphragm is not visible claustrophonic angle is not visible there is a gap between rib cage and lung here and this is a fluid density so this is a massive fluid effusion we'll have to do more investigation like CD scans or ultrasound or other tests to find out the real cause of this massive fluid effusion in this patient I would like to thank uh, Dr. Chandra Shekhar for allowing us to use some of his wonderful x-rays. At least one or maybe two x-rays were copied from wikipedia.org. And I would like to thank uh, Patrick J. Lynch for wonderful sketches. He has made some wonderful sketches and has uploaded them on wikimedia.org website. Uh, and thank you very much.